And what's up, everybody? My name is DeltaWolf556, and today I am finally back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. It has been quite a bit since I've done a BO3 Zombies video. The last video I uploaded was on September 11th, 2023, which wasn't too long ago, but it's been long enough. My Zombies fans have been starving for far too long, so I've returned from the store with the milk. Now, as per usual with these BO3 Zombies mod showcase videos, I will be reading the Steam Workshop page description before actually hopping into the map, the link to which will be provided at the top of the description. If you don't want to watch me read the Workshop page and just want to watch me play with the mod, there are timestamps so you can just skip ahead to when we actually get into it. With that being said, let's go ahead and read the description of the T6 mod created by GCP345. Do not use Boy with this mod, it will not work. Use the T7 patch instead. Also make sure to read the patch notes. Relive the classic Black Ops 2 zombies experience like no other with the T6 mod. This mod is designed to maintain the traditional look and feel of the original game while playing it on an updated engine with the newer features. Read the information below on all of the features of this experience. Create a class overhaul. Customize any of your favorite weapons to your liking. If you want an AN94 with a millimeter scanner or TAC-45 with a tactical knife, you may do so. When you upgrade your weapon, you gain all of the attachments on it just like Black Ops 2. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So I'm guessing when you either get the weapon either off the wall or from the mystery box, it'll just be the base weapon with no attachments. But then once you pack a punch it, all of the weapons that you put on it from the creative class, you'll get all those attachments. That's kind of cool. I like that. Revamped HUD. All of the HUDs and UI have been rebuilt from the ground up using original Black Ops 2 code and updating it to Black Ops 3 standards. Mutations menu. Create your own custom game modes. Change settings how you want them, including what perks and weapons you want in the map, starting points, round, and much more. You can even save your custom game modes. Okay, that's cool. A lot of custom mods do not allow you to save your, like, custom modifications or mutations. So that's actually really nice to see that. Weapons. A variety of weapons have been ported to the mod with one-to-one -one stats. Okay, I'm a little skeptical on that because, uh... I might avoid getting the SM- well, not might. I will be avoiding getting the SMR because that thing is trash. But you could choose to play with the original weapons of a respective map or choose to play with weapons that are from other maps or weapons that were never added to zombies. Okay, that's actually also kind of cool right there. So that might mean that they ported over weapons from the Black Ops 2 campaign and multiplayer that were not ever added into zombies so that's actually pretty cool perks phd flopper tombstone vulture aid and who's who have all been added to the mod and all function like how they originally did persistent upgrades perma perks are back they function exactly the same as black ops 2 and save between games okay i remember how to get the phd one but i don't really remember how to get any of the other ones phd all you got to do is just take fall damage <laughs> essentially weapons locker like perma perks this also saves your data between games a white fridge will spawn at either a gobblegum, unused perk machine, or wonder fizz location. That's also pretty cool. Dive to prone. It's not Black Ops 2 without this mechanic. Simply press your prone bind to dive. This can be disabled via mutations if you prefer to slide instead. Recommended to turn off if player pings are too high. I'm wondering if you could still slide or if it's dive or prone. Because it says press your prone bind, which is Z for me, and then my slide and crouch is C. Or control, I mean. I don't know. I'll, we'll, we'll test that in game. Game modes. Multiple game modes have been added and more to come. Game modes such as a Black Ops 2 Classics, Turned in Grief, and fan favorite custom zombie mode, Gun Game. You love to see it. Classic mechanics, like the dive to pro mechanic, a variety of other mechanics have been added. Zombies do more damage per melee, but also attack much slower. Okay, that's good to know. Jumping feels more fluid, and all of the Widow's Wine machines have been replaced with PhD flopper machines. Okay, that's nice. Full origin support and overhaul. A large portion of this mod is dedicated to Origins, a classic Black Ops 2 map, a full 1-to-1 -one -one port of its HUD, original weapon ports such as the MG-08, Mauser C-96, and the original camo has been added to all of the weapons. Even small things such as the original wall-by locations, the infamous speedrunning glitch on the Easter egg, and even the original siren sound to the Panzer all added. That's pretty cool. Now, I think we are going to be playing this map on Origins. That's kind of what I was thinking when I was going into this, but you know what I mean. Now, as for the game modes, we got Classic, the original round-based mode, Turned, Get a chance to play as the zombies, fight your friends to become the human to gain the most points to win, new settings such as playing gun game only or adding perks into the game. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gun game, a classic custom zombies game mode. First to complete the cycle wins the game. Going down will force into a zombie blood mode. Okay, that's nice. And derank your current weapon. Custom power-ups that pack a punch your current weapon, rank up your current weapon, or derank the other players. Grief. 
Time to work with or against your team. Fight against the other team to stay alive to be crowned as the last team alive. Please report any bugs you find in the bugs report discussion. Thank you. And then here is the credits as well as the popular discussions. There is a pinned discussion for compatible custom maps and official maps. And with that being read, we're going to go ahead and hop into the game now. Before we actually play the mod, we are going to load the mod. Well, we kind of have to. But I'm curious what all it's going to change on the HUD. Because a lot of mods will like change up the menu to like feel, you know, for like the vibe of what the mod is for. So I'm hoping this makes it like Black Ops 2 like. Okay. Oh yeah, it uses the the t oh and the menu sounds too. That's nice. Oh, I didn't change the background for this, but it changed all the text and stuff, and everything like looks how it did in Black Ops 2. That's pretty cool. And weapon kits is really one I. Oh, look, they ch they changed all the things to Black Ops 2 weapons. Nice. I don't know if I'm gonna go through and actually customize all of them, but oh yeah, we got the EOTech, the reflex, the millimeter scanner, and the target finder. Oh nice. And then all, all the Black Ops 2 attachments as well. Oh, that's cool. And it says right there, attachments will only be applied to Pack-a-Punch weapons. You have the option to choose between the Pack-a-Punch camo or your camo when upgraded. Okay. Scorpion Evo with rapid fire. Oh. <laughs> Why would we not do that? You know, I might actually go through and customize all of these. The SMR. I'm not even going to customize you, you piece of trash. Classic LSAT. Obviously, we're going to put the target finder because that's what it gets when you pack a punch it, if I recall. Then we got snipers. Oh, the classic ballista. Can I put iron? Oh, you can't put the iron sights on. Oh, we're, we're going with the iron sights for sure. Oh, the DSR-50. My baby. Obviously, we're putting the iron sights on it. And that is everything. And then custom games. We can set up that. Change the map. Oh, Black Ops 2 map. Oh, it already has origins right there. Stock maps, custom maps, and the T6 compatible custom maps, which it doesn't look like I have any downloaded. So, Black Ops 2 maps, we're going to Origins, the jank game mode. We'll keep it on classic. Mutations, I think we will leave everything as is. Perk limit, though, I think is the one thing I'm going to change. 12 perk limit. Oh, wait, it's disabled by default, huh? We're going to enable Dive to Prone, and then we're going to see how that works. Enter weapons, everything, except for DLC weapons. So we'll enable DLC weapons, because that should be like the ones that weren't actually in Zombies originally, like the Peacekeeper and stuff. All of the perks are going to be enabled, because, you know, we want all the perks. And D-bars, um, I think we will leave that as is. And the health is two hits, so it's going to be the classic two hit down. I just noticed that. I think we are good to start the game. Let's do this. Oh, that's nostalgic, the countdown. Oh, man. I love those. I love that. 10 out of 10 mod just for the sounds. <laughs> and here we are, Origins. It looks like we are Tank Dempsey. Grab that Maxis drone part in our shovel. Our classic M14 on the wall there. There shouldn't be any gobble gun machines because I believe the mod disables them. Then we got our ballista over here. Heck yeah. And then we should get our power generator one online so we can quick revive. We do got to be a little more careful than I normally do because it is back to the OG Black Ops 2 two hit down as opposed to the three hit down. So I got to be a little bit more careful well quite a bit more careful you know uh, we got that on we'll grab the double points because i will forget about it later then we will just uh farm some points real quick Pierce here we are and that is round one Enemy get our archangel rock to their primal instincts i didn't hear so the sound i think i got it though savagery all right Recommend next all thing on the menu we got to find where the box is at so it is over there so we're gonna need to go to gen 3 first in bo2 you could look through this window right here to see but in black ops 3 they closed off the windows for some reason so you have to look from over here so like i said we got to go to gen 3 first so we can get pack punch but since we're here we'll check if the shield part is down here which it does not appear oh never mind i am wrong it wasn't back down here that means that it will not be in here but uh it's not gonna stop me from checking in here you know First we'll dig spot of the game, ooh, for extra 100 points. Second, ooh, ooh, another 100 points. Hey, I won't say no to that. I'm almost done. All right, unfortunately, uh, we are out of ammo now. All right, that was close. A little risky there, but that's okay. We made it in here. Classic 74U on the wall right there. 
Spawned us a zombie real quick. Grab our points from Speed Cola. And then probably not wise to do this, but we do need to get it on in order to spin the box, which I think I'd rather do that as opposed to buying the 74U, which I could do just to be safe. However, we like to play it a little risky, you know? And there's Gen 3, so we'll get our first the box hit of the game. The and hopefully we get a good weapon. Ooh, the Python. Oh, Definitely won't say no to that. Baby is real powerful. Oh, that one was already dead. See, that's okay. how powerful it is. I thought Let's it was still alive, but it was time. still, but it was dead. It was dead. That's what I mean. Except, oh, the LSAT right. as well. Oh, we're keeping this. We got to keep it. Unless we can get the MG0815. Head back to the spawn room so that way we can get the door open to Gen 2. So we can get Generator 2 online. Because sometimes I will forget about it. You know what I mean? I think what I will do instead of using the Python right now. Because that'll be a good, like, uh, oh no, I'm trapped in a corner kind of a weapon. This will be uh, pretty good for points, the LSAT. Ooh, that's a zombie blood, which we could grab. However, I think we might save that. Stay dead this time. That's round, so we'll go ahead and grab the zombie blood and the nuke if we can. There we are. Extra 400 points. Won't say no to that. We'll check for the other shield part in here, which it is not. And then we get another dig spot. Ooh, a Mauser that we're not going to take, to be honest. This door open, and since we still have the zombie blood active, we'll go ahead and get the generator started. So that way, you know, we got the zombie blood for it. For most of it, at least. I also like how the perk icons are the classic Black Ops 2 perk icons, as well as the power-ups. It shows the Black Ops 2 power-up icon. No wonder if it's there. I did not see where it was, and I almost died right there, which would have been big, unfortunate, very big, sad. We'll grab our stone tablet, and I think the disc is over on the other side, which we'll get over there in a second, you know? Gotta clear out all these zombozos. Probably missed it right on the shelf right as I walked in. Yep, there it is on the table, not the shelf, but you know what I mean. Check up here for the shield part, and it is not up here. Which is unfortunate, but ooh, hello, how's it going? Nice to see ya. We are gonna need it reload before the max ammos. Which is unfortunate, but that's just how it used to be back in the good old Don't days of COD how. Zombies. So we'll head down here, got a dig spot, which gave us the ice staff part. Staff. Okay, we're probably not gonna build that to be honest. But we might. There we go. I don't know why I didn't let me pick that up at first, but, uh, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Shut up, Samantha. Quit show yapping. Imagine if there was a mod or a option to just turn off Samantha's voice. That'd be pretty cool. Because then you don't have to listen to her yapping every five seconds. That would be, honestly, probably the best mod ever. Get the second Archangel Rock. And we can't quite afford that, but that's okay. We'll get some points here shortly. That'll be enough points to get us out here. Dig up that dig spot. We want to dig up pretty much every dig spot. Well, we do want to dig up every single one we see. So that way, we can one, get ice staff parts, and two, and more importantly, getting the golden shovel. Because then we can start working on getting the golden helmet. Extra points right there. I do not want to do that one yet. I would like to do the generator over here first because we want to get Juggernog. Two hit down is a little bit rough, TBH, and we don't want to be dealing with that. You know what I mean? And there's the lightning disc, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep our Python out because uh, this thing pretty much one shot everything right now. Well, it can one shot everything right now. All right, we got this robot coming. Oh, and we got Wonder Fizz right here, which is actually kind of nice, to be honest. But we want to get our Juggernog first guaranteed, and then we can start hitting the Wonder Fizz. I guess while we're waiting for this robot to pass... Uh, actually, wait a minute. You're not the one I was thinking of. Never mind. I think you're Freya, right? I think you're Freya, the name of the robot. I always forget which Something one is which, but I know here. their names. Thor, Odin, and Freya. I'm pretty sure it actually might be in that order. Thor, Odin, and then Freya, that one. Luckily, it was that one, so it's not going to step on this box. That was round. I should grab this nuke for the extra points. We are pretty close to being able to afford Jug. So real quick, I would like to actually get that. Come on, let me out. There we go. Got a Mauser. Very cool. And hopefully, Mr. Middle Robot doesn't decide to uh, stomp on my box and make me reset my progress. Because that would be big sad. And look at that. We got Robot on the right. Very cool. And then, I suppose, like we since we're here, we'll just uh, hit the Wonder Fizz, see what we get. And we got... 
PhD, very cool. Interesting because in the original Black Ops 2, this is the only map that actually had PhD flopper on it, where you could actually use PhD. Sure, it was teased in uh, Mob of the Dead and Die Rise, but uh, you couldn't actually get it in those two maps. There was the Perma Perk, which this mod, the T6 mod, actually does add the Perma Perks back. I'm assuming it adds them to every map. And there we go. We got the box filled, so we can get the heck out of here. We're going to want to get the other generator on, and then we can get stamina up from over here. Stamina up is not necessarily a necessity, but uh, it is very useful on Origins, especially BO2 Origins, because, you know, the movement is a lot slower than it is in BO3. And you can't, like, do the infinite slide thing like you can in BO3, which, with this mod, since I have the slide enable, I'm not able to do that anyway. Well, we're not getting lucky with those dig spots. Oh, nice. Slot, or I mean the dive. The dive is nice. Dive is nice. Wait, the dive is nice. I meant to say nice. You know what I mean. Hello. We got a double points over here. Very cool. There we are. That's round. Grab that. And we get ourselves stamina. Very nice. Oh, can't quite afford that. Oh, it's round eight. How could I forget that wonderful sound? We'll grab the new, because why not? That siren was, in fact, good old Uncle Panzer, who really likes touching you very inappropriately. I don't know if we're going to have time to do what I wanted to do, which was building the shield down here. I don't hear him stomping around yet, but we will be very cognizant of uh, what's going on. Insta-kill will be nice. I actually don't know. Oh, there he is. Too, All right. We got to run. We got to run. Uncle Panzer's coming for us. All right. I guess insta-kill does do bonus damage to him. That's actually good to know. I wasn't sure if that was a thing or not. And we got ourselves another insta-kill. That's actually uh, kind of nice, to be honest. You hear me. Not like we need it, you know, but, uh, all right. Panzer wasn't that big of a deal, to be honest. Now we can head over here to the church. We got another dig spot here. Give us a zombie. We got that box, but we won't bother filling that just yet. Got that? Ooh, extra 100 points. Won't say no to that. There it is. I was wondering if the fire disc was going to be here. Not that we need it, but you know what I mean. Probably not a great idea to do this now at the beginning of a round, but hey. What have I ever done, uh... You know, I don't have a good plan for anything that I'm doing. Never. Oh, yeah. No, we made a terrible mistake. We absolutely made a really bad mistake here, but uh, that's why we did it, you know? It keeps things... Oh, look at that. And we can grab the fire staff part, and we got a, a super ultra-clutch zombie blood. <laughs> This is, like, probably the most clutch zombie blood ever. One of the zombie bloods of all time, for real. All right, we got that robot passing by, so I suppose we'll stand right here, and we will start filling up this soul chest. Definitely want to grab Speed Cola if we're going to be keeping this uh, LSAT, though. That's for sure. Already have 5K. I suppose we should open up the actual excavation site itself, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Can't quite afford Pack-a-Punch. Oh, I just got that on, you annoying like sons of guns. They usually tend to uh, go for the one that's on the complete opposite side of the map for, from you. But luckily for us, luckily for me, uh, I wasn't too far away from them this time around. There we go. Probably could have uh, reloaded before we actually grab that. But uh, we kind of want to get out of here, to be honest. Not a great spot to be in. We got lucky once again with the same robot as last time, so we can continue filling up this soul chest. That is around 10, and we could already pack a punch. So I would say, let's go ahead and pack a punch my old bestie, the right LSAT, which if I remember correctly, becomes machine. the Vassert. And I was, in fact, correct. And look at that. Now it's got the attachments that I put on it, which is pretty cool. I love the OG Pack-A-Bunch camo as well. Looks looks, looks nice. Looks nice. Got a double points here. The only drawback to using the LSAT is it's an LMG, so it's a little bit slow. But that's okay. Not a huge deal, to be honest. So I already got this box filled, but we are going to check the dig spots. And I mainly wanted to come back over here for the Vanda phase once again. Walk around, see what we get. I think this was... Oh, that was actually a bad idea. 
All right. Well, that was actually a terrible idea. I didn't even see what I got. I think it was Widow's Wine because it was a white bottle. But uh, that was definitely a big mistake. I almost made it out of that. And it would have been pretty cool if I could have clutched that. But uh, that's okay. Be like that sometimes, you know? Maybe I shouldn't have immediately hit the Wonder Fizz. But, you know, I grab that, which is Deadshot. Wow. Very oh, useful. I should have reloaded. But that's okay. We're right here. We'll grab Jug. Look at that. We've already completed the 30,000 point challenge. And all I've done was uh, pack a punch. Spin the Wonder Fizz a few times and uh, open a bunch of doors. Still need to fill that one and the one over by Stamina Up, if I recall. We don't want to spend all day in here, so we'll just grab this and then uh, hurry up and run out the other way. Ooh, zombie Blood, that's going to be kind of clutch. Well, not kind of, it will be clutch. Oh, we got all three of the robots this time. I was going to say we could start filling the, uh, the middle chest, but maybe not such a great idea, actually. Maybe not a great idea to go through here right now, but hey, we're doing it anyways, you know? Uh-oh. I may have made a mistake here. Just kidding. No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Come on. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, meant to do that. That was not a mistake at all. Totally calculated that to happen. Come on. Reload. Oh. And Speed Cola is going to be huge when we can eventually get it. Woo. All right. That was round 12. That was a little rough, to be honest. Could have gone a bit better. But at least it went. Now we got another Panzer who is... Is he dropping it on me? Oh, thank you. He did drop on me, but we got a pack punch gun this time. Very good one, as it turns out. Well, not as it turns out. It always has been good. Broke his face plates. Got to reload now. We should definitely get speed cool. That would definitely be a uh, good investment, I think. You didn't see that one coming. All right, we've already finished that challenge as well, unintentionally. I was just trying to, you know, kill the Panzer. I almost called him a dozer. Come on, Panzer. Die already. Die already, Panzer. Bad Panzer. Leave me alone, please. All right, there we go. He's dead. Very nice. All right, we got a nuke there, but we are not going to grab that. Since we got Mr. Uh, right Robot again, or left, depending on your perspective on things, we are going to go back to... We could fill that one. Actually... Yeah, you know what? We'll fill this one since we're right here with the remainder of the round. There we are. And we're going to quickly run back to the Wonder Fizz and see if we can get lucky and get Speed Cola for cheaper. And it looks like we got... Oh, we got the teddy bear. Unfortunate. Hey, and look at that. They just happened to spawn right next to me this time around. Well, um, that actually works out very well. I was already right here. What are the odds of that? They never do that. I think that's the first time that they have ever spawned that close to me. That actually worked out very nicely. We're it's definitely like close to being fight. done. Another maxi. Like there we go. And perfect. We got the left robot or right robot, depending on your perspective. And this box is also full. And that should... That should have, there it is. I was going to say, that should have been all four of them. And we've already completed all of the rituals of the ancient. So we could go back to spawn and grab all of our rewards, which is actually what we're gonna do that's actually not a bad idea good idea me maybe not the smartest thing to do it right now at the beginning of a round however i'm not the smartest guy you know what i mean the first thing i am gonna do however is uh come over here and grab my old bestie speed cola then we are going to claim i forget which reward is which so you know we'll just choose them one at a time this one oh this was the wait is this supposed to be a scar? I was actually looking forward to it. That's why I decided it, but it gave us a STG. I mean, I guess I won't say no to an STG, but I'll probably end up trading it out. I was honestly hoping for the Agarthan Reaper, the Pack-a-Punch Scar H. That would have been real nice, but hey, oh well, be like that, I guess. All right, and we'll get our reward number two. You were the last zombie, weren't you? No, you weren't. Just a max ammo. We'll save that. Not that I'm going to remember about it. I will entirely, definitely, 100% forget about it later. And this one was the one-inch punch. Oh, no, this is double tap. Okay. I, I got it back. I didn't see the perk bottle there for a second. Had to kill you. Ah, there we go. I was going to say I should have it. <laughs> it it's, it's lit up on the thing, so that's our new melee weapon. I believe it one-shot melees until round 30? Somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly. Uh, ooh, Wonder Fizz is right here. That's a great idea, actually. That's what I would say. Wonderful. Ooh, there's the golden shovel as well. And that 
is who's who, it looks like. And that's also, oh, I was honestly banking on that being a, whatchamacallit, a zombie blood. Well, that's okay, we got a nuke. That, that will work for what I'm trying to do right now. Another perk, and there's mule kick. All right, so we'll probably just snag a wall weapon so I can know which weapon is my mule kick gun. We got PhD flopper once again. And then because I increased the perk limit in the uh, modifier, or the mutations, I should be able to get every perk. Which is really my only complaint about classic zombies, not being able to get all of your perks. Ooh, we got Electric Cherry. That's pretty cool. And we got the Teddy Bear once again. I think we got most of the perks anyway. I'm kind of curious, actually, why they decided to go with the, um, the STG as the uh, reward instead of the, whatchamacallit, the Scar H. I was actually looking forward to it. I just bought this, you know. So that way I would know which one is my mule kick gun. Ooh, MP7. That's nice. Yeah, ooh, monkeys. That's huge. Let's we'll keep hitting it. We'll see if we can get something that's uh, iconic or classic. Oh, the executioner. I'd say that falls under the realm of uh, iconic and classic. I think we'll hang on to this as our mule kick weapon. Worst case, we go down and we lose it. And there it is. I was wondering when we were going to get that. Since we're passing by up here, we'll go ahead and pack a punch the Executioner, which, if I remember correctly, becomes the Voice of Justice. Yes, it does. Very cool. There it is. We love ourselves the Wonder Fizz, and we have just enough points to spin it twice. So we got Vulture Aid. Ooh, very nice. What a great perk. And that might actually be all of the perks. Now, I'm wondering and hoping if this uh, Vulture's Aid actually works and isn't broken like it is in... 99% of BO3 custom zombies maps. Ooh, a ray gun. A ray gun mark one. Interesting, it shows the 1911 right there. Do we take it? Hmm. You know what? Oh damn, I changed my mind, but too late. All right, well, we can't really afford anything else, so we will go ahead and, never mind, now we can't afford stuff. So, well, we can afford another box hit. Ooh, the MTAR. I Looks think I'll like take that. We will need to pack a punch it though, however. I feel like this thing isn't as powerful as it should be. TV. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just bad. All right, let's test this if this works. Does appear to actually work. All right, look at that. Very cool. Ooh, fire sale. Well, that's actually kind of nice. I was actually heading back to the box right now anyway. Now, the box only costs 10 points. Very cool. This thing's actually putting in work. Oh, wow, it's like killing in one shot. That's kind of crazy, to be honest. Ooh, a Kimbo 5.7s. Very nice. That's round. Ooh, the MSMC. Wait, I don't think this one was actually in zombies. There's the STG again. And they're taking Gen 1. Okay, we're getting extremely lucky. I have a feeling the mod makers might have actually changed it to where these guys will go for... Oh, I thought there was a Mark II for a second, but we'll grab it. I didn't grab it earlier when I changed my mind. Oh, and another fire sale. I love the classic ray gun sound as well. I'm going to toss a monkey bomb because we got uh, Uncle Panzer. He's around somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hello. How's it going? Wow. Ray gun, ray gun got a buff? Ayo. Hey, it's actually good for once. Oh, there's the fire staff plane. I think we gotta pap the ray gun. We'll see if the Maxis drone part is there, and I didn't see it. There we go, the classic Porter's X2 ray gun. Very cool. You don't seem to understand. I'm trained for this. And there's our gramophone disc conveniently next to the pack a punch. Excuse me, zombies. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Grab the gramophone, place that baby there. That'll open up down here. There we, are. we can start running down here, start glitching through the ground, very cool. All right, look at this. Now we could craft the staffs if we actually had all the parts for one of them, which we could get all the fire staff parts. I did shoot the plane, I didn't grab the part for it. We'll grab that gramophone, and we will head back up. I think we might go to the crazy place, to be honest. Let's grab these claymores for good these. luck. There's Mr. Fire Staff part. It's and there's our last staff. Ice Staff part. Very nice. Now, I'm fairly certain that this mod disables the double pack-a-punch and makes it OG pack-a-punch, and that is, in fact, factual. All right, let's place that gramophone and wait for the portal. Let's stand in this. It'll give us a uh, 
chance to kind of chill out while we're waiting for the portal to construct itself, you know? All right, there we go. And we are in the crazy place. And there are a lot of rats here, in case you were wondering. Crystal Gotta grab that. To get it. Now we can immediately leave. There we are. Let's get out of here. And then we're going to plant some claymores right here, so that way if anybody comes through this doorway that's not us, they'll get exploded. Now we head back down here. We can actually build ourselves the ice staff, which, in my opinion, okay, best staff. staff. Let's see what yeah. you Yeah. Did you really truly play Origins if you didn't spin the staff like this? I'm back down here. Nobody came out, so we know it's safe to go back in. Alrighty, and now we got to solve this little puzzle here. So we got that, so that should be that one. And then we got that, which should be that one. Excuse me, zombies. And we got that, which should be this one right there. I believe that one is the L. Yes, it was. And that one is the, excuse me, zombies. It's that one. And then that one is obviously the final one. And there we are. Now we do got to wait for that to, uh... Hurry up. Shut up, Samantha. I didn't ask you. I know what I'm doing, all right? Yo, if there's any uh, mod creators for Black Ops 3 or, you know, perhaps a T6 development team, can you add a custom mutation to shut Samantha up? That would be pretty cool. Here's the tombstone. Supposed to do that. Gotta shoot that. I don't remember how many times you shoot it. Just once, I think. And then we head over to Jug, and there's that one. And, yep, all right, we do only need to shoot it once. I couldn't remember if it was once or three times or two times or you know what I mean. It's been a little bit since I've played some Origins, you know. And then there's our last one. Can we hit it from here? We can. And there we are. That's that step done. Now you can see a uh, giant beam of light coming out of here. Not anymore. So, you know, if we head back down here... We'll find a bunch of uh, thingies and a blue ball because, you know, who doesn't like when their balls are blue? You know what I mean? We just got to rotate this, this so that way. Excuse me, zombies. I was uh, pulling a lever, if you don't mind. There's one, I suppose. Hold on a second, zombie. There we go. Just got to rotate those until they're blue. Head purple and then blue and this is the last one there we are and then we just got to shoot the blue ball i said shoot the blue ball i said there we go and now we should be gucci and our claymores are still here so it's still safe down here in the crazy place and then we go ahead and deposit our ice staff and now we just gotta fill it with souls Gotta wait for these bozos to get over here. Ah, not in the mood for this shit. Yeah, and that's round 19 completed. We're gonna keep it a little challenging for us by only using the one inch punch as long as it's still a one hit melee. Which it is, so in that case, we are in you know fact going to be using do. this. You got knocked out, bitch. Oh, Drew talking to you. This is uh, going all right. Sometimes these walls like to cuck ya. All right, maybe maybe not. Maybe we're not gonna do that. Not today. We could do that. However, you know what I mean. All right, and that is now our upgraded ice staff, the old arrow. So now we got the upgraded ice staff. Then we'll just kind of chill out over here. No pun intended. I take that back. Pun entirely intended. Got a situation here. Love the ice staff. So good. And that is round 20. All right, where's the box at? Still in the spawn room. Oh, great. It's a good thing I was coming over here anyway. There we are. Easy as that. And 
normally I'd say this is not a good idea to do at the beginning of a round. However, I am a gamer, and gaming is what I do. And the M8A1, I think we'll do without. And we got the Scorpion Evo. You know what? That's an Origins mess. exclusive weapon, at least in uh, OG Black Ops 2. So you know what? We're going to take that. I like map exclusive weapons. It gives you a little more replay value for that map specifically, or at least, well, back in the good old days of zombies. Well, if zombies back then were so good, why don't you play it anymore? Well, what do you think I'm doing right now? Go ahead and pack a punch that. I do not remember the pack a punch name for this thing, but we're about to get like remembered. Right. Get remembered. That made sense. The what was that? Situation here. The evolved Death Stalker. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that in a while. Still want that golden helmet. See what this baby's made of. Ooh, man, it's got a lot of recoil, just like I remember. Hip firing is not that bad when you ADS. It's like, woo, we're kind of wild, to be honest. It's not that bad, though. It was just more than I was expecting, you know? Come get me. Fire rate is pretty insane. Now, did I put rapid fire, the rapid fire attachment on this thing? I think I did, right? This thing had the fastest rate of fire out of all the weapons in the entirety of Black Ops 2, if I recall. Do I still have my shield? I don't know. We're right here, we got a Panzer, though. Let's see what here this thing is made of. Can. Where is he at? Where? There he is. There's Uncle Panzer. No, oh, you're not grabbing me, buddy. Owie. All right, let's throw a monkey Someone. down. Better have my back. Oh, we already ran out of ammo. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's right. I forgot about who's who. Uh-oh. Who's who? Maybe I should not have grabbed who's who. You know? I'd say that was a pretty good run. So with that, uh, I would say highly recommend this mod because it basically just re is basically just Black Ops 2 Zombies Remastered. There's quite a few, quite a lot of compatible maps as you saw when I was showcasing, or not really showcasing, when I was reading the workshop page description earlier. There's a whole discussion that was pinned that tells you everything or that has all the compatible maps listed on there. There's quite a lot actually, which I think is really cool. And like I said, there's a lot of options. The weapon kits, I think, is really cool. The fact that they added all of the Black Ops 2 weapons. There is a handful that are missing. Like, I think in Black Ops 2, the AK-74U was classified as a submachine gun, even though it is technically an AR. But it's not under either of these, so there are a handful of weapons that are missing. But to be honest, that's not even really a big deal. It's just a couple of weapons that are missing from the weapon kits. But, I mean, it's not like you really need to customize them or anything. It would be nice to have them. But, you know, like I said, not ne not a necessity, you know. But with this mod, you're pretty much getting exactly what you want. Just a Black Ops 2 remastered on the Black Ops 3 engine, essentially. And it is very customizable, as you can see. There is a lot of different options. There could be more options, but like I said, it it there's a lot there's more than enough options. Huge shout out to the mod authors, everyone who went into making these. Without them, we wouldn't have this video with us today. But as I said in the beginning of the video, in case you missed it, at the very top of the description, there will be the link to this Steam Workshop page for this mod so you can check it out for yourself, download it for yourself. Whatever you want to do with that. There's also a link to my community Discord server in the description as well in case you want to join that. Maybe we'll see you there. If there's any BO3 custom zombies maps or mods that you want me to play or try out, let me know down in the comments or over in my Discord server. I would really love to play more COD zombies on my channel again. It's always a great time. As I said in the beginning of the video, I haven't done a zombies video in quite a while. Reason being, there was another Bethesda game that came out that I wanted to do a playthrough of, but it got pretty stale for me and I sort of lost interest in it due to the lack of RPG elements, among other things. But hey, that's a topic for another time. Speaking of time, I've already taken up more than enough of yours, so I want to let you know that I really appreciate you watching, especially all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate you dropping a like, and if you happen to be new to my channel, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing as well. With that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, nighttime, afternoon, whatever time it is for you, in whatever time zone you are in, and I will catch you all later. Delta Wolf, out.